SSP TV Sports on News 13 with Fred Barletta Jr. and Ron Marchetti. It was a heartbreaker one year ago when Williamsport knocked off the Lady Cougars, the infamous rain game. Could it be outdone? Well, unfortunately, the answer is probably. Well, last night, take a look. There's the final. Williamsport scores a run in the bottom of the seventh inning. This was a scoreless game, and they scored it on a safety squeeze play. They had loaded the bases, and uh, boy, it was a bang-bang play. I there watched it. This is one of those, I'll bet if they showed the replay, you need five or six angles to determine if it was the right call or not. But uh, bottom line is, Williamsport wins, and that means Williamsport advances into the uh, PIAA State Playoffs, and the Lady Cougars are the hard luck losers again. They put an impressive number in the book for uh, the final tally, but they uh, are denied going into the state tournament for the second year in a row. Both times, tough losses to the millionaires of Williamsport, and that's the way it goes down. But the Lady Cougar softball team put up some very nice numbers this year. Let's take a look at uh, the district single A, and that's where uh, MMI came up short, 5-2. Blue Ridge comes up with the win. They will meet Northwest Northwest. They popped Old Forge yesterday, 5-1. Down in District 11, let's go to baseball. Pius the 10th, 5-1 winners over Tri-Valley for the district championship. The Pottsville Crimson Tide. They take out Becca, Pottsville 5, Bethlehem Catholic 1, district championship in AAA down in District 11. And in softball, AA, Pine Grove, 5-1 winners over North Schuylkill. My imagination had a lot of 5-1 scores there. Anyhow, let's take a look. It wasn't 5-1 last night in the minor leagues. Kyle Landis didn't pitch, but Akron, 3-2 winners over Bowie. Bowie is the uh, AAA uh, affiliate of the Baltimore Orioles. Meanwhile, the uh, Baby Yankees got shut out by the Toledo Mud Hens, 3-0. The final there, and in a slugfest, the Lehigh Valley uh, Iron Pigs Club, 14-4 winners over the uh, Gwinnett Braves. What does it look like today? Well, how about Columbus goes to Rochester? Akron is at Binghamton. Scranton Wilkes-Barre travels to Norfolk, and Pawtucket goes to Lehigh Valley. Major Leagues, Yankees open up a weekend series in Detroit. Tampa Bay is going to be... Uh, hosting the Baltimore Orioles. Phils will have the Miami Fish in town, and the Mets and Cardinals. They'll tangle at City Field. Pittsburgh is out in Milwaukee. And of course, we've got NBA basketball in the uh, Stanley Cup Finals. So it should be a, a very interesting weekend, this first weekend in the month of June. Well, last week they had a discount on bats, and if you were a player, that's good. But if you're a fan, no good. So this week, down at Stripes and Strikes, if you're a fan of the Philadelphia Phillies or New York Yankees, listen up. It's 20% off all Phil's and Yanks merchandise. Can't beat that. If we're getting ready for uh, the month of June to arrive, you can get into it with the Phil's and Yanks. 20% off only at Stripes and Strikes. Get down and check it out. Goodbye, May. Hello, June. Hi, everybody. On this Short Shots Friday, I look back at this past week. Starts at Shippensburg last Friday. Julia Franzosa, Hazel Area Lady Cougar, captured the school's first ever gold medal in the javelin throw and in track and field, and the first ever Cougar girl to do that. The only Cougar boy to do that was uh, Donald Paul, who claimed the 110 meter high hurdles gold in 2012 at Shippensburg. Now, that was a big deal. Congratulations to Julia Franzosa, who was only the third junior to ever win the Scotty Roman Award last year. She's headed to Duquesne University in the fall. And speaking of Scotty Roman, the swing club on East 1st Street, not 2nd, selected Chad Hoffman as this year's Scotty Roman Award winner. The Hazen Area High senior excelled in football and wrestling. Hoffman will be playing football in the fall at Bloomberg University. Good luck to him and all the graduates this year. Also last Friday, the Hazen Area Boys baseball team season ended at Rex Antonosi Field in the District 4A semifinal, losing to Scranton 5-2 and Tri-Valley eliminated Marion in the Class A District Semis 7-6. On Tuesday, the Lady Cougars blank Buckhorn for the district title behind Becky Demko's five-inning one-hit shutout. Then yesterday, the young Lady Cougars met District 4 champions Williamsport in a classic pitcher's duel. The Lady Millionaires won one nothing on a walk-off bunt and a very close play at home plate. The Hazel Area girls, who only starred three seniors, finished a tremendous season at 18-6 which included district championship. The MMI Lady Preppers softball season also ended yesterday, losing to Blue Ridge 5-2 in the district semi. 
What else? Dario Franchetti won his third Indy 500 on Sunday. That's his wife, actress Ashley Judd, who just had her TV show Missing canceled. The NBA playoffs are still going. So are the NHL playoffs. And it's June, mother of God. But who is still not playing is Teal. In Allen, Texas, Terrell Owens has been released by the Allen Wranglers and his ownership stake in his indoor arena football league team. Teal is definitely on his way down, but he was spotted doing push-ups outside his home yesterday. The Tampa Bay Rays signed Hideki Godzilla Matsui this week, and I was signed up for Monday. So until then, be a good sport and stay loose.